This is module one, lesson 19. In this lesson, we'll be creating and solving multi-step word problems from given tape diagrams and equations. And again, we're gonna go right to our problem set. So this lesson's gonna give you an opportunity to write your own word problems. You'll be given diagrams, and you're gonna create your own word problem and then solve for the variable. So here's some questions to think about as you begin to write your own word problem. First of all, what story makes sense given the diagram and the numbers? So if we look at the tape diagram, we have a total of 7,104, and then that total is broken into four pieces, one pretty large piece, a smaller piece, and then a third piece. So you have to think about what problem would make sense given those numbers and given the way it's divided up. Then you're gonna have to decide, once you have your story, what question will you ask? So again, you think of the story, two or three lines to describe what the story is. Then you're gonna ask, what question do you want answered given the story and given the tape diagram? And of course, there's many different possibilities and you can use your imagination. There's no one right answer because everyone's imagination is gonna be different for this but you need to look at each of these tape diagrams and decide what's the story that makes sense and what question are you gonna ask. So here we have for number two, a comparative. We have one amount and then we have the amount again, but it's 90,457 more than the first one. And our variable is the total. So our question has to be about that variable. Uh, number three, now we have three things. We have one amount, a second amount, that's 3,500 3, less than the first, and the third one that's 2,010 more than the first, and our question has to be about the variable. For number four, you're gonna draw your own tape diagram to match this equation and then you're going to create your word problem and solve for that variable so have fun be creative and everyone can share their word problems when we're all finished and that's the end of this lesson